Hey, it's Nathan with Follow My Boat. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a development environment for the Follow My Boat stake weighted voting system. Um, so, we're going to download all of the dependencies and get an IDE set up and then build the software and run it. So, let's jump in. All right. So this is the Follow My Vote repository for stake-weighted voting. Um, if, we, uh, if we scroll down here, we've got several dependencies. Um, the first one is Captain Proto. <coughs> Captain Proto, um, you'll just install in the normal fashion. So this is an Arch Linux-based system, and it's in the AUR. So I'm just going to tell it to install that. Um, if you're on Mac, you can get it from Homebrew. Um, if you're on some other flavor of Linux, then you'll just uh, get it, either build it yourself, or maybe there will be packages um, for your uh, distribution. All right, so that's building now, and um, let's move on to uh, the next thing we're going to get is vplay. So vplay's website is vplay.net and um, so we are going to just go to the dev area dashboard. Um, you will need an account with vplay to download vplay. Um, it's free so you'll just create an account with them and uh, log into that. I'm going to go ahead and log into my account. Alrighty. And then you can download vplay here. So we'll just hit that. Okay, and vplay has finished downloading, so we're going to go ahead and extract that. Alrighty, and we've got a .run file, so let's fire up the terminal. Okay, and this will require you to log in, so just use your vplay account like before. Alright, we'll just take the default path. Alright, so vplay is finished installing. There's no need to go through the rest of their onboarding experience here, so you can just cancel out. Okay, so vplay will have installed to the home directory. I want to go in there and check that the default installed did, uh, did get everything we need. So um, from the vplay SDK folder, you're going to run the maintenance tool. And I want to add a remove components. All right, so I also want the Qt Labs controls technical preview. All righty, so now we can open Qt Creator, which came with vplay. So in the vplay folder, we've got a uh, desktop file for Qt Creator, so I'm just going to copy that to my own desktop. And now I can open that.
Okay, so now let's get the code. to check out the submodule. We can open the project in Qt Creator. Okay, looks like everything went well, and let's try and build. Okay, we have a successful build. And let's select the voting app and run it. All right, and that's the app. Now, if we want to work on the graphene backend that's currently disabled as we can see here the reason for that is that we don't have graphene installed so let's go back to the terminal check that out do the submodules again Note that we do pass the recursive flag to this one. While that's checking out, I'm going to install Boost and CMake, both of which I will need. configure this all right and that's done in building so now we can install it okay and now we just need to point the project at graphene so to do that we will come into the projects uh, build settings <coughs> and add a new environment variable, graphene path, and we'll set that to slash opt slash graphene, which is where I installed it to. And now, as you can see, the graphene backend is enabled, and we can select it in the run configurations. So that's the system. Uh, thank you for watching.